Hey everyone and welcome to a new Gundam build video. So this time around, I've got the Ill Strike Gundam which came in the 1 to 144 scale which is bigger than the Gundam I built the other day which is this guy over here. So as you can see, this one is definitely much bigger than this one so it's gonna take more time of course. So without further ado, let's start unboxing this thing. So right off the bat, we can see many packets of plastic containing the plastic parts. So we have one, two, three, and we have the thin instructions manual. So I can, I can already tell by the look of things, by the amount of pieces in these plastic packets, it's gonna take some time, so let's not waste any more time and let the time lapse commence. But first, let me show you the instructions manual. The inside, it looks pretty detailed, of course, with lots of things to do. A really lengthy process, and yeah, let's start building, I guess. Okay, so just to give a little update, after 30 minutes of building, I've managed to complete the head, which was really difficult because of the small pieces and the torso, upper torso, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, this piece took forever because I had to put that glue sticker there. And also this, that's a sticker by the way, another glue sticker at the back. It was really difficult, especially when you don't have the proper tools to assemble the thing, but I made it. So now let's continue building stuff. Yeah. Okay, so just a little update, I had a panic attack when I was, um, you know, trying to shave off the uh, unnecessary bits from this piece to connect to the hand here. And while I was using my knife to, uh, like, you know, slice off those bits, um, this thing just, like, popped all the way, well, it went, it went poof, somewhere, and then I, I had a panic attack for a second. Looked for around my area, and turns out it was just under the instructions manual. So, oh well, everything is back to normal now. Gonna take a little breather and continue. Okay, so for whatever reason, the time-lapse video stopped recording while I was building the one of these arms. But here is the final product after about an hour and 10 minutes of building. Just finished the torso and both of the arms and the head. And so far, I am satisfied with how it looks. But there is a lot more to go. A lot more pieces to stuff, uh, pieces to build and join together and stuff. I can't speak. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to take a break and continue, but of course since it's a video you won't see that happen, so I'll continue in the next second or so. Oh. 
Alright, so just a quick update. I just finished one of the legs. Um, the other foot is complete, but I have to construct the other other leg. And this one itself was 30 minutes or so, including the other foot. So yeah, let's continue building the other leg. Okay, so the chest, arms and head and both of the legs are complete but I can't exactly connect these yet so I think I need to actually create the lower torso area I'm not sure what's the exact term but yeah, I need to do that so let's continue So almost after 3 hours of construction, it was actually 2 hours and 15 minutes to be specific, I finally completed the main part of the build which is the body, as you can see everything is complete, however there are more things which is the rocket boosters to put at the back, which I will do after this of course, but let's have a look at the whole thing so far, I think it looks pretty nice, I like the detail of how it looks so far, and after this I think I will be building the, what is it, the guns, shields, pocket knives and of course to top it off with the boosters at the back so I think I will take a break of course before proceeding but you won't see that in this video of course so let's continue building Okay, so I've completed some of the accessories for this Gundam, which is the gun, the shield, and the two small knives over there. I just, well, pulled them off the plastic holding thing. So I think I'll do the sword, the saber thing, along with the booster pack because apparently it's part of the... Where is it? Because the handle for the sword is part of the booster pack thing at the back so I think I'll do it in my next session but of course you'll we'll see it right after this Okay, so it's finally complete. As you can see, the booster pack at the back is complete. Uh, weapons and accessories are complete. The knives are actually stored somewhere in there. So uh, actually, I have to make the saber swords thing. So these two um, handles, I guess, 
those are actually the handles for the sword which are detachable I assume so that's the last part to put so I'm gonna make that quickly alright so as you can see the build of the ill strike Gundam is 100% complete as you can see the accessories over here the beam saber the anti beam shield the beam rifle are all over here I just decided to remove the shield and rifle for display purposes and yeah I am pretty satisfied with this build, how it looks, and oh my goodness, that's a huge booster pack at the back, it looks pretty nice. Good thing I have a stand to put this on display. So yeah, I pretty enjoyed this one, and now there is the problem, which is I actually want to build more of these now. It's so satisfying to build these, uh, especially once you've put several hours and this is the final result. And since I mentioned earlier, this is the normal size one. So when you compare it to the smaller Gundam, and yeah, that's the size difference. Well, the head is really gigantic here, but as you can see, that's the size difference. And I might do more of these in the future, but we'll see how it goes. I might try to stop first. I don't know. We'll see. But if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, just drop a comment below to see uh, what sort of Gundam you want to see me construct next in the next build video I make. And yeah. Here's just another look of the back of the Gundam from the top side and the front. So yeah, as I was saying, leave a comment below to see what Gundam you would like to see me build next. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you like. Every support means a lot to me. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.